Hey everybody, it's Chan Chai. Happy Fight Stick Friday. Happy Halloween. Uh, it's been a while. I'm still pretty busy with uh, lots of family stuff. And also, um, yeah, um, and we're starting to resume our home projects again. So uh, anyhow, uh, pardon the mess. Uh, but I wanted to showcase this shelf um, that we just built this week. And it's, I think it's a perfect uh, shelf for displaying fight stick collections, especially, or similar items like that. Um, the, the dimensions are great for displaying uh, relatively large items. And so it's not cheap, but I thought it was really cool. I have a different shelf that I'm going to be using to display my fight stick collection. Um, but this shelf is a shelf that my wife got. Uh, that we're going to be using for our dining room for displaying certain items. And I think it just, when I saw it, I was just like, this is perfect and I should show the community uh, this shelf. Uh, it's the Iron CK shelf. Um, and we'll look at that later, but uh, you can find it on Amazon for about a little, about $210. Um, but uh, let's uh, try some fight sticks on it. Uh, first up, I'm gonna put like, uh, uh, wrap Kai, so the Hori Real Arcade Pro Kai. Uh, this was for my Xbox um, One. So let's put it on there, see how it looks. And you can see right there. Um, looks pretty good. I think uh, swayed well. And you know, this is like the classic PS3 era uh, wide body uh, narrow from up and down uh, design from Hori. And yeah, I think uh, you can see how well it fits. Now, um, clearly a VLX is not going to fit on this shelf. So, you know, you want to have some, a different display. But, you know, the VLX is worthy of a, of its own shelf, to be honest. Um, that's something you could get. Uh, you could mount something to the wall, and it'd be cool. Uh, obviously, we haven't mounted this shelf to the wall, but I, I would recommend it. And so far, I really like how this shelf looks um you know for the price it's extremely cool um only concerns is that i have a carpeted house and so this it's almost like you've got these two five tier shelves and in between they're connected by four um uh, by four shelves right by four racks and so i worry that if you tried to move this if you're not careful when moving this shelf um you could accidentally rip these because these are just bolted underneath, but you could accidentally rip them off. Um, now that said, once you have all of them installed, I think it's pretty good. I think they're all reinforcing each other. So it's mostly an issue when you're building in the building process. I think uh, it's pretty stable once fully built, but that's the only concern I have. I think the rest of it, I think is pretty sturdy. Uh, we'll see how mounting it to the wall goes, but I do recommend mounting shells to a wall. You never know when you're going to have an earthquake or something like that. Um, if you know, and preferably if you can mount it to a stud in your wall. So that's, uh, you can see how the, um, Hori Real Arcade Pro sits there. It fits really well, but let's uh, try some other sticks. I'm going to show a couple other sticks as well. Uh, so let's see, we've got. Over here, we've got the Itoki Omni arcade stick. Uh, wonderful stick, very heavy. So hopefully I don't clunk this thing onto my shelf. Don't mind the mess in my house. Uh, let's put that over here. And then let's hide the wires behind it. Hope I'm not waking up the house with all these thunks and thunks and you know, scratchy sounds of the cables. But cabling would be an interesting issue to manage, but there's many ways you can do it. I probably should have parked it in the corner here or something like that. Um, but yeah, there's the Hori, there's the Itoki Omni Arcade Stick. Um, and yeah, we've got it outfitted with the uh, Gamer Finger Buttons. Uh, it still remains the original song with the Dark High over here. And uh, the stick is, is Seimitsu. Um, it's actually the uh, Seimitsu Nobi uh, standard. And then we've got the, um, but I put the golden lever bolt top on it. It feels really good, but I've been trying all kinds of configs. And of course, uh, Murakuma Arts um, washer. The, this is the 
um, all white or stealth. It's just an all white one. It's the classic original all white. I think there's a new one coming and hopefully that'll be unboxed soon. But yeah, um, white camera fingers go pretty well. All right, then we've got this stick, which not many people have seen yet. Um, this is my Victrix Pro Cam ProFest Cami. And this was actually my original um, one, but I, uh, I upgraded this one shortly after I built the Akuma. And I just haven't shown it off much, but what I did, these are still Sano buttons. Uh, I went with the transparent purple. And then these are gunmetal uh, buttons. And this is uh, um, the KDIT um, Duotone uh, green, yellow ball top, which I love this ball top. And then of course the Murakama Arts washer. I went with the purple because I think it goes best with this actually. Um, and Freak Mods uh, EX Groove uh, with the metal green. I think overall, if you look at it, it looks pretty good. It, it actually it fits in quite well. And I, I like this ball top. However, today let's try a different ball top. So we're going to remove that. And we've got right here um, our purple Seimitsu tortoise shell. And we've got the purple EX Groove. And then we've got the same... Uh, no, we've got our, um, we've got our black washer. It's great. But this purple really gives this slow underlining tone. No, this is the black purple. Yeah, the black purple was an awesome, awesome release. And of course, the lanyard belongs to, um, Freak Mods. And we just disconnect it like that. All right, so let's lay this out. Let's put it up here. It's pretty good. Uh, and you can see the dimensions of the Victrix Pro FS fits really, really well up there. Further out, we can scoot this back a bit. And I'm gonna do a fun little thing. I'm gonna plug in this. I'm gonna plug it to my computer. It doesn't work if you plug it to a wall adapter, I wish, because then you could do some cool stuff on shelves. But you can use a computer and a hub. Not the best thing to do though, because then you're gonna be using up all your, all of your controller stuff. So there we go. All right, so this is how this looks. And this is how my idle animation looks. And you can see how that purple, transparent purple, it is limiting, but it still has a decent color spectrum that you work with. And so it fits the theme, and that's also why this ball top works well with that. Um, I love how the gunmetal pops on the green, on the green case. And of course I have this set to, this is just kind of changing color slowly. So of course I can do many different uh, effects with it, but hope you're all enjoying that. And let's see, you can just imagine how um, some of the cool stuff you can do when you've got your sticks displayed and with a power source, but again, plugging to the wall doesn't really work. I'm glad it didn't fry the board, but plugging to a PC or plugging into a console that's still running, like your PS4 before you um, before it completely cuts out, uh, is really good. It'll last uh, a good couple of hours on mine. So even uh, after playing, it'll the um, Victrix will still be lighting up and showing off. So. Um, you can always do that way too. So yeah, hope you guys like that. Uh, but there's another one, so let's do another. So let's get the, this is our VS1R. Um, awesome, my favorite stick along with the Victrix. But you know, I really love all of my arcade sticks to be honest. Um, at this point it's like, you know, picking children and you don't really want to pick your children. You just want to play to each advantage and each one's strengths, you know, and then work around each one's weaknesses. But, um, you know, just uh, understand each one has their purpose. Each one has their best uses and each one's going to help you in some way, at least if you take care of them. So let's put that on the shelf. I'm going to put this right up here. So one way is we can we can mount it. We can put it on this display here. So we can 
put it on our shelf like this. And this is where it's facing the front. And you can see how great that looks. That looks, don't mind the cable. And let's see here. But let's turn, let's try turning the VS1R around. I'm gonna try that. Because it also looks beautiful this way too. In fact, this is a side of the VS1R that not many people have see when they're looking at photos, but should definitely be photographed more. So as you can see, let's do our back view. Um, for the sake of the big macro view, let's unplug this sadly. Let's come back and take a look. So this is how this looks on the Iron CK shelf. This is a five tier, but with a four in the middle. And we'll look at the name of that design because that's um, there's another type of five tier. And take a look at this. And I think it looks really, really good. I think this is going to be an awesome display. You can you can uh, organize it how you want to make it just look really nice. I just slapped this together, of course. Um, now let's go look at our, let's look at Amazon so I can show you where you can find this. So this is the Iron CK bookcase and bookshelf, uh, triple wide, five tiers, industrial bookshelf with baffles and speaks another language. So, um, yeah, you can see here how this shelf looks, what it's you know, it's good for displaying stuff. It is meant to be a bookshelf, but I think it's just better at it, like an accessory shelf, a wine rack. That's how they'd use it in the photos. And yeah, um, and so it is, it's not cheap, it's 210, but it's, but I think it's a, will fit many homes really nicely and many rooms nicely for displaying arcade controllers or retro consoles or what have you. And then let's take a look at an alternative one. So here we have, this is the full-on six tier. It gets, it's much more expensive. It's bigger and it will hold, it's all straight. So there's not that staggered middle column. It is all together uh, like that. And it's, you can do it in six tiers or five tiers. So, all right. And this is like the five tier, which is a much cleaner, I think is a clean look. Um, you know, with the six tier, you're going to want to make sure you can use that space well and have it display nicely. Um, but it, but without making it look too busy, right? I mean, that's why in these nice photos, they keep putting stuff that will just kind of use space, right? Um, this type of display definitely wants to really highlight items and have some space. Let's do that. Yeah, and so the six tier will use items that will highlight space. Um, and there you have it. Um, let's go back to our original. Again, this is the Iron CK bookcase and bookshelf. I want to share it with you guys before, um, I wanted to share it with you guys before my wife was gonna start, you know, putting stuff in or we were gonna mount it to the wall and then I wouldn't be able to do a video like this of it. Um, I will be featuring another shelf type and I hope you guys like it. Uh, it's the one that I've chosen, uh, for better or worse. Um, I'll be the canary in the coal mine, try it out. And then let everybody know how that's working out. And if it doesn't work out, I'll have another use for it, but I, I intend to use it for arcade controllers, the one that I got. So I'm looking forward to making that video soon. Um, you know, we've just been doing some work here and we've got stuff all over, the, scattered all over the place as we reorganize, especially the dining room. Uh, this bag um, is going to be featured soon. Um, I just got a few items and I was going to, I'll do a video on the Razor store in Washington, up in, uh, up in Seattle near the University of Washington and um, what I found there and some cool stuff, um, you know, but uh, yeah, again, this is Chan Chan. I hope you guys are all doing well. Happy Halloween. Happy Fight Stick Friday. And, you know, um, hope you guys enjoy and enjoy maybe um, kind of uh, showing your love for the for the hobby. All right, you guys take care. I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.